Hello everyone. As you can see, this is the IdeaPad 330 70-inch laptop. Comes with Core i3 8 generation Intel. Okay. The laptop is too big, but the speed is very low. The reason is this one comes with only 4 gig RAM, which is and now what you're going to do we're going to upgrade the ram so i will show you how to do that okay because for 2021 4 gig is very low and also it does comes with ordinary 2.5 inch SATA hard drive which one also makes this computer much more slow than that as usual okay so what we're going to do first we're going to close it and we'll flip over the laptop this is quite big and also you need to have some tools not too special phillips screwdriver flat opening tool and obviously the ram stick that you want to do i do have only four gig and in there four gig but i don't know how many slots in there if two then it's fine i can add another four but if single and if there is no any built-in integrated um ram then that would be very difficult i think probably they left the option to upgrade the ram because this is a complete laptop model no netbook or notebook all right so the model number is lenovo idea pair 330 17 ikv okay what we're going to do we're going to access into the boot by removing all the screws that you can see okay so first i'm going to start from this is that one so pull that one like this should come out sometimes under the DVD drive they put screws but this time no that's fine and now I'm gonna open up in halfway and I will try to spudger it with this start from the bottom side Once the both side open, lift it downwards again and try to lift it up from the bottom to the up in that way. Because if you pull it from that way, you're going to break a lot of uh, plastic prong in there, which one keep the top chassis and bottom one together. Okay, so lift this up from this side and play with it a little bit. Okay, it's going to come out as you can see easily. It makes kind of odd sound but don't worry it's not gonna break it so that's the actual that's the actual machine as you can see quite clean but very very basic as you can see the, they use 2.5 inch SATA hard drive the lift left such a big space I don't know why and the heatsink looks quite big but the actual the pad top of the core is too small but because of the fan is big so I could say this is much better than HP design all right and the battery is right here such a small battery if they wanted they could make it bigger because this is 17 inch why I did explain because a lot of um, my viewers they keep asking me hey is there possible to upgrade M.2 SSD and stuff like that or no I would say no you don't have any option for M.2 you don't have any option to add any graphics card or switch the CPU all right so as you can see the actual ram this is the one which is integrated 4 gig built in and then we have this slot so what are you going to do we go one of the top one which is from kingston okay quality made 4 gigs so we're going to add in here okay that's the one the best way is don't make same mistake try to remove the battery because don't play with the ram without removing the battery or any other basic job that you do okay because of the cable is very short so I can pull this out what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take out the complete battery by removing these screws which is on the right and left and center so two and one three okay so I go three of them I'll lift this up 
and this pull, pull this out and should be fine you know as you can see so that's how you remove the battery now we are free to go what we can do we can put this one in here as you can see and just push this downwards like that and it's done okay so once it's done then we need to put back the battery again and then don't forget to put the screws back to the place there are some cross mark in here here because the screw doesn't go by this indication so put it on the right place and this one doesn't go this one does and on the side way Uh, pretty much that's all you don't need to disconnect anything else now what we're gonna do we're gonna put the back cover into the place and should be fine okay the common mistake people does okay they start closing the bottom side first and then the top side that's absolutely wrong the reason is which way you start from you need to start from this from this side okay so I started from this side but I'm gonna start from the opposite the reason is as you can see this is like that so if I close the bottom side first then it's going to be very difficult to push in because the head end point is not straight it's a little bit curvy okay so do it in that way it would go definitely you need to find a way yeah so this side first start pressing on the side way a little bit you're gonna hear this sort of noise which is absolutely fine now the second one is to put this one into the place like that and now we're gonna close all the screws supposed to check it before I close it uh, I'm quite confident that would support so now we're gonna open up the laptop and see if there is any light comes on on the screen and we could say the RAM upgrade was successful or not let's pre press the power button and see if there is any light on the screen yeah the light comes on now waiting to see any logo yeah the logo also came up the still this is not that great first but quite good enough for 8 gig and the reason why it takes so long to boot up is the actual hard drive 2.5 inch SATA SATA hard drive all the time slow well nowadays it's not that much ideal okay so now the system is started up it took little bit of time at the beginning it seems is okay now we're going to check if this is visible more than four so as you can see now eight it shows before it didn't it showed only four okay so that's how you update the ram upgrade the ram for lenovo idea pad 330 still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to answer it as soon as possible Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.